Today's topic is dengue, an acute infectious disease that is characterized by headache, severe joint pain, and a rash that is caused by a single-stranded RNA virus of the genus Flavivirus, or species dengue virus, transmitted by mosquitoes of the genus Aedes, called also breakbone fever, dandy fever, or dengue fever. Causes The viruses that cause dengue fever are spread by mosquitoes of the species Aedes aegypti, and sometimes also by Aedes albopictus. Aedes mosquitoes are usually found in urban and suburban areas, as they like to breed in man-made containers, like tires, flower pots, and household water. Aedes albopictus mosquitoes have been transported to America and Europe by Asian products like used tires and lucky bamboo. These mosquitoes can survive sub-freezing temperatures, which has allowed dengue to spread to cooler climates. Signs and symptoms. Symptoms of dengue fever typically develop between three and 14 days after a person is bitten by an infected mosquito. Classic symptoms include fever, headache and pain behind the eyes, severe muscle and joint pains, the source of dengue's nickname, breakbone fever, extreme fatigue, rash appearing between the second and fifth day of fever, tendency to bleed from the skin or nose, bloody stools or heavy menstrual bleeding, nausea and vomiting, respiratory symptoms such as a cough, sore throat, or nasal congestion. These symptoms usually last for three to seven days, at which point the fever breaks. After the fever breaks, people either start to get better or get much worse, developing severe dengue. According to the World Health Organization, guidelines, any of the following symptoms are warning signs that may signal the development of severe dengue, often called dengue hemorrhagic fever, or DHF. Abdominal pain or tenderness, persistent vomiting, lethargy or restlessness, mucosal bleeding, such as bleeding gums or nosebleeds, liver enlargement, fluid accumulation in the lungs or abdomen, as shown by x-rays or ultrasound. Dengue hemorrhagic fever. Dengue hemorrhagic fever, or DHF, is the most serious form of dengue infection. DHF is a clinical syndrome defined by four key features. Increased permeability of blood vessels, leading to plasma leakage into the surrounding tissues, and lack of plasma in the bloodstream, which makes the blood more concentrated. Low blood platelet count, fever that lasts for two to seven days. Tendency towards severe or hemorrhagic bleeding. Severe bleeding or hemorrhage isn't the most dangerous symptom of DHF. The most life-threatening concern is the leakage of the liquid part of the blood or plasma into tissues surrounding the blood vessels. When this happens, not only can dangerous pockets of fluid accumulate where they don't belong, such as in the lungs or abdomen, but there also isn't enough fluid left in the blood vessels to circulate the blood properly. This inability to circulate blood properly is called shock. Shock is life-threatening and can lead to metabolic problems and organ failure. Treatment of shock requires hospitalization in an intensive care unit, or ICU, for close monitoring and for the administration of medication that raises blood pressure into a normal range. The term dengue shock syndrome, or DSS, is used when an infected person has gone into shock. Diagnosis. Doctors can diagnose dengue infection with a blood test to check for the virus or antibodies to it. If you become sick after traveling to a tropical area, let your doctor know. This will allow your doctor to evaluate the possibility that your symptoms were caused by a dengue infection. Treatment. As with most viruses, treatment options for dengue will only manage its symptoms. Pain relievers that don't make bleeding worse may be taken. Intravenous or IV fluids may be given to help prevent shock, but frequent blood draws and other assessments must be performed to make sure the IV fluids aren't making the person sicker. Dengue fever vaccine. The first dengue vaccine, Dengvaxia, was made available in Mexico in December of 2015. This live vaccine, which covers all four dengue subtypes, is given to people ages 9 to 45 as a three-dose series. Dengvaxia has been shown to prevent about 59% of dengue cases. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video.
Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.